This is ETV Bharat. Welcome to News Time. Nitish Kumar in all probabilities will take oath as Chief Minister again now with support from BJP MLA on Sunday according to sources. Amid the turmoil in Bihar's ruling Mahagathbandhan, the opposition BJP has called a meeting of its MPs and MLAs on Saturday apparently to discuss the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. Samajwadi Party chief Akhilesh Yadav declared that Congress would fight in 11 UP Lok Sabha seats. The Archaeological Survey of India which has claimed to have found the Gyanwapi Mosque in Uttar Pradesh's Varanasi to have been built on the ruins of a pre-existing temple has also found Mughal era coins buried underneath. Maratha activist Manoj Jarangi on Saturday called off his indefinite fast over the Maratha quota issue after the government accepted his demands with Chief Minister Shinde announcing that till reservation they will be given all benefits enjoyed by OBCs. Delhi Chief Minister on Saturday claimed the BJP had offered rupees 25 crore each to seven of its MLAs in Delhi to quit the party while also threatening to topple the Kejriwal government. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and French President Emmanuel Macron expressed grave concerns at the possibility of further expansion of the conflict in the Middle East including in the Red Sea. Israeli Prime Minister says Israel will continue to do what is necessary to defend itself following a ruling from the top UN court that harshly criticized Israel's war against Hamas in the Gaza Strip. The UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees fired a number of its staffers in Gaza suspected of taking part in the October 7 attack by Hamas and other militants on southern Israel. The Indian women's hockey team registered a victory in the FIH Hockey 5S Women's World Cup 2024 semi-final against South Africa here on Friday. Log on to etvbharat.com for latest news.